Beautiful, isn't it? 2010. We did 2010. Uh, it says 2010, right? Oh, I just saw it. Where was it? On top of the wreath. Here's a wreath. And there's the year. 2010. Also, good Timberwolves. Oh, how about them Timberwolves? Uh, yeah. Let's see. They're, uh, what, 11 and 9, right? 12 and 9? Here we go. I'm on it. I am on it. How about them Timber Pups? What's today? Monday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? We're not going to get there. All right. Three days until the next game, but I won't be able to see it anyway. Hey, let me tell you about the Timberwolves. There's a game on in half an hour, first of all, against Orlando. Please not go on. Can you believe it? Tomorrow they got Miami. That game uh, was voted as the NBA TV fan night game of the night. That's nerd night, Ernie. So if you get NBA TV, you'll get to see the Timberwolves on Tuesday. Not to mention, you get TNT. That's going to be the Timberwolves game uh, national on Thursday as well. Two national games this week, Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday's game in Miami. Ricky Rubio will not be allowed to play, sadly. He's being barred from the second game of back-to-backs for now. Hopefully not for long. Ricky returned on Saturday. He played uh, 19 minutes. He was kept to a strict minutes limit. The game went to overtime, unfortunately. Fortunately, the Timberwolves dominated overtime, even with Ricky on the bench, and scored their season high, I believe, 114 points, beating the Mavericks. Take that, Mavericks. Derek Fisher, he's old and on the Mavericks, and I didn't even know he was back in the league. And I had, to be honest, I'd forgotten that he was out of the league, but uh, that was interesting. He is old, and he still makes shots. Have I mentioned that he's old? So it's a back-to-back, -back, Monday and Tuesday, Orlando and Miami, and then back here Thursday for the national game, the rematch against the Thunder. The last time the Thunder were in Minnesota, Apolis, the game was taken to two overtimes, and the Thunder ended up winning. Things might be different on Thursday. Ricky did return on Saturday. Kevin Love had the flu on Saturday after injuring his thumb at the end of Friday's game, uh, a win against the Knicks, no, the Hornets, the Pelicans, beat the Pelicans on Friday, beat the Mavericks on Saturday. How about that for a back-to-back -back in two different cities? My goodness. Things are looking up for this team. They only wanted to be 500 by the time Ricky came back. Three games above 500 now. So much better than uh, the Lakers, for example. Thursday's game, TNT, I wish I could go. I'm going to be at the airport. Hopefully the airport will have it on television, though. The first TNT game with the Timberwolves in it in about six years, believe it or not. I couldn't believe it, but it's true. They'd only been on ESPN and NBA TV for national games. So hopefully there'll be lots of interesting things to say about the team and everybody can jump on board get on the bandwagon plenty of room I am missing Thursday's game we're leaving the country it's a secret Greg stop telling people Shh. don't tell people I'm not going to be on the board God knows what they'll do <sighs> leaving the country it wasn't a clue I am really leaving the country I'm not going to tell you more about it. If I happen to log on to the board while I'm on vacation and you see a different flag on my post, you'll know where I am. Otherwise, forget about it. I already have the shakes, knowing that I won't be able to take my phone because I will not pay the outrageous fees for global data roaming. I just won't do it. No matter how badly I want to be on there and how badly I want to check in on Foursquare from a foreign land, uh-uh, no can do. So, 
It's not Canada or Mexico, I'll tell you that. It's a long flight. I'm so scared. It's one of those deals where, like, you go on vacation, but really you feel like you're really not going to be relaxing until you actually get back home. When the plane lands on American soil, actually, where do they do customs? They do it before or after? It's before, right? I don't know. It takes hours? Looking forward to that. Looking forward to taking my shoes off, putting them back on, taking them off, putting them back on. Thank you, TSA. You know one of those things that people were saying when they were all busy considering carefully, carefully considering their measured response to that thing that happened over there with that stuff? One of the things they said was, how come one guy tries to light his shoe and the entire world has to take their shoes off at the airport for the rest of their lives, but we can't control guns? That's the wrong way of thinking. What you should be asking is, why do we have to take our shoes off at the airport? The thing is, this thing that happened, I don't like talking about it, but, but I will rant about it because if he broke the law and it looks like he broke the law, why is the solution to have more laws? I mean, laws were already broken. It's not that we don't have enough laws. I don't know why I'm the only one. I don't know. I see these petitions and these things that just thousands of people want to get on board with, and I'm like, you're really thinking about what you're saying? How come curtailing my freedom is the answer to your problem? I'm not getting it. I don't know. It's It seems un-American to me, but God forbid you say anything like that because people will get very visceral in reacting to that. And the next thing you know, you're not friends anymore. God knows, I need all the friends I can get. <sighs> How about them Packers, NFC North champions? Playing with a purpose. Still playing to get that number two seed and the bye in the playoffs, although getting the bye in the playoffs didn't seem to work out too well for them last year. Was it last year that they had the bye? Whatever it was, they sure crapped out in the playoffs. I kind of hope that doesn't happen this year, but I still get that uneasy feeling. You could see it when they tried that backwards pass on special teams. It's like, you know what, it's not exciting enough, and we want our fans to tear their hair out, so let's see if we can just give this game to the Bears. Why not? Let's give them one more chance. Thankfully, the Bears were who they thought they were, and what now? Okay, yes, good, all right. I don't know why... <laughs> You get in these IM discussions and nobody says anything for 10 minutes and you think it's over, but then they come back with something else. So I tried to call him on the phone. That would have been a lot faster, but I don't think he's in his office. NFC North champions. So we got, uh, who do we have? Tennessee? And then actually back here for the Vikings game, which uh, I understand uh, some people are coming in to see who are Packers fans. Good for you. I uh, would be caught dead in that place. <laughs> uh, and besides the fact that I will probably be suffering from jet lag and probably having regretted gone to the going to the Timberwolves Suns game, assuming I'm back. Talk about weather, you know. You never know if your plane is going to leave when they say it will. This thing right now, they say there's there it might snow Wednesday, but it might snow just south of the airport and not hit the airport at all, which we would hope. So even if it does, it'll probably be clear out by Thursday, right? Am I flying out on Thursday? Right, because that's when the game is on. So even though I'm off Wednesday, it's going to be trying to take care of all the stuff in advance of this trip, which I haven't done anything yet. In fact, I, there's a potluck tomorrow, which I forgot about, so i got to hit the grocery store and get my little Smokies, apricot jam, and mustard. So I'll have something for the crock pot tomorrow. The crock pot actually has something in it right now. It's a roast, and I decided to put in an entire jar of pickles for uh, brining it. This will either be the best idea I ever had or the worst idea I ever had. I'm not even going to tell you what a disaster the Chex Mix was yesterday because, first of all, I didn't have enough Worcestershire sauce. Who runs out of Worcestershire sauce? I did. But I don't know if it was that I didn't make the mix wet enough or that I used the oven, which is hotter than it says it is, but this is the most singed Chex Mix I've ever had. 
And of course it was a double batch. So I may have to eat it by myself. How long will it take to eat 18 cups of Chex, two cups of peanuts, and two cups of uh, pretzels? Probably the rest of the year. I'm over time, so last video of the year tomorrow. We'll talk about the Timberwolves some more. I should talk about that pay-per-view, but I forgot. So maybe there'll be some wrestling talk tomorrow, too. Uh, if you want to guide the discussion or gently remind me of what I had said just now for tomorrow, please hit me up at the usual locations. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I've gone over, but at least I've talked real fast, and that always makes Flea unhappy. I'll see you tomorrow.